His charm is so contagious, vaccines have been created for it. Years ago, he built a city out of blocks. Today, over 600,000 people live and work there. He is the only man to ever ace a Rorschach test. Every time he goes for a swim, dolphins appear. Alien abductors have asked him to probe them. If he were to give you directions, you'd never get lost, and you'd arrive at least five minutes early. His legend precedes him, the way lightning precedes thunder. He is the most interesting man in the world. People hang on his every word, even the prepositions. He could disarm you with his looks, or his hands. Either way, he can speak French in Russian. He is the most interesting man in the world. He is the life of parties he has never attended. If he were to punch you in the face, he would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. Sharks have a week dedicated to him. He is the most interesting man in the world. His reputation is expanding faster than the universe. He once had an awkward moment, just to see how it feels. He lives vicariously through himself. He is the most interesting man in the world. He has amassed an incredibly large DVD library, and it is said that he never once alphabetized it. If he were to mail a letter without postage, it would still get there. When it is raining, it is because he's thinking about something sad. The pheromones he secretes have been known to affect people miles away in a slight. If she's married, it's not your fault. If she has a ring on, so what? If you want to bang her, that's totally up to you. So what? If she's married and she has kids, do it in front of them. Who cares? Anyway, stay thirsty, my friends, and drink Corona. Woo! No advertisements. Woo! <laughs> or drink your own. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know what that is, don't you? Oh, yeah. Alright. We'll be right back on the Gorgeous George Show. Woo!
Come here now, ladies and gentlemen. You know who I am. I'm the pretty old man that probably sure that underwear. And you ladies out there have a secretion every time you see my face. My name is Henry. I'm the bald old man that ran for president a few times and lost. Had John Kerry as my VP. And then I uh, had uh, the guy in prison and, you know, running for uh, VP with me. I believe his name is Little LaRouche. Anyway, it's all said and done. Now, tonight, we're going to talk with former uh, person that ran for president. And he's got bitter proofs about a certain person. And her name is, uh, well, his name is John McCain. He ran for president back in 2008. John McCain's in the house tonight. What's going on, Johnny? Uh, it's so good to be here, uh, Henry. Uh, you know, um, uh, oh, there we are. You know, it's so nice for a change to be the, uh, to be the second youngest man on the show. Hey, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Oh, man, I, I mean... I mean, I, I don't know how, how there all you are, but I've been, uh, I was just on Dancing with the Stars, the finals, and... With that jacket? Uh, just came from the set, that's why I'm all dressed like. Yeah, with that jacket? Was that jacket made out of uh, pubic hair or what? No, it, it came from a clown's pubic hair. Oh, it seems like it. All blast colors, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's, 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 I mean, I'm, tra I'm still a senator. I'm still, I'm still a thorn in the side of the President of the United States for the last five years, and... I will continue to be that way for many years. So, what well, is it true that you take mental use? Oh, you name it, I got it. Yeah, well, there are, are, are irregularity there in your bowels. Let me tell you something. You, when I go to the doctor and I have to fill out that, when I have to fill out that thing, if you had mumps, if you had measles, if you had cancer, if you had uh, heart attacks, or anything. I just put one big X on everything. Hey, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, maybe Obama's, maybe Obamacare will help you out there, sir. Maybe Obamacare will help you with your pre-existing conditions. Well, that's right. It, 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 well, no, 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 no. How is that? If, 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 uh, if, if Barack Obama tells me it's going to be sunny today, I'm going to go up with, a, with an umbrella and a raincoat just to spite him. Okay. That's nice to know. So you're not you're not down with Obamacare. No, no, I'm not down with uh, anything. Are you down with OPP? I have my back to grind with uh, Barack, and uh, he, you know I've been in the Senate for so long. I was a. No, was a dinosaur, are you? Oh, I'm a dinosaur. You're right. I I, I, I thought I was there when the dinosaur. You were born when Christ came out, right? I was. I was. Yeah, I was. That's me. And let me tell you, I was. I was. Uh, I was in a POW camp for many years, and I was in an interview. I don't know what a man has to do. He becomes president. He's only senator for like two years, and then he becomes. Then he gets a Nobel Peace Prize, which is the easiest way anyone has ever gotten a Nobel Peace Prize. He just got elected president. I was in. I was a POW almost as long as Nelson Mandela, and I don't got anything. I'll tell you what. Well, what's the deal here? You better prove about the new. Uh Secretary of State here. What seems well, to be the problem with that? Secretary of State yet, Henry, and we're going to make sure she isn't. Uh, why is that? Me and me and uh, me and uh, Senator Graham, uh, Lindsey Graham of South Carolina. Let me tell you what's going to happen. Uh, you know all about that thing that happened in uh, Libya and Benghazi. It's a terrible, terrible thing, and the Obama administration just lied to everybody, and they sent this woman out, this Susan Rice, and she is uh, the Secretary of the UN. Uh, United States, and uh, she's a paid liar. She's a. I don't even know why we even have anything to do with the UN. And here she is, and she's and she's uh and and now that now I think I didn't even I don't even think he considered put, giving her the the, the Secretary of State job to replace Hillary Clinton. But but what happened was once I started making a big fuss about it, he's the same name with me that that I am with him. Well, she, she shouldn't be a secretary of state. What can you do about it? What can, what can you do about it? You can't do squat. Well, I'm very mad at well, I could I could I could uh, filibuster, I could nobody could talk Buster. I can. I've been talking for many years. Well, so this guy can give you uh give you a vacation. I'm talking and talking hey, and I hey. can't shut up until I lost breath. This guy gave back in two thousand eight they gave you a McCain buster, didn't they? Yes, yes, that's right, that's right. And let me tell you something. There is a woman that's very dear to me. Who's that? that 
I think she'd be the next Secretary of State. Uh, I don't want to hear that. Oh, she uh, she would make the best Secretary of State. She, she's from Alaska. Is that right? She used to be the governor of Alaska. Yeah. She was my running mate for vice president. She's uh, she's uh, she's very plain. Let me ask you a question. She could talk. She could talk. No, she hey, could hey, talk. I gotta she stop you a second. France, and she could. And she could, uh, she could sing fairly. I gotta stop you a second. Now, I had an interview with that Benno Lax a few years ago. That's and I asked her. The game. Hold on a second. I had a bad interview with her, and I asked her if you if you all had anal sex together. Well, that's uh, no, no, no. I have. You ever seen my wife? She's a very good looking woman. You never anal sex? That, that, well, I just wanted to know whether or not. Let me tell you something. You said you said I know what you're saying, and I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because whenever somebody uh, says that that I had an affair with this woman or that woman, I never admit to it. Did I? I never admit it either, but I never admit to it. Well, what the, what the hell is up with Sarah Palin? You know, that's probably why you lost the, oh, that's why you lost, that's why you lost the election, I mean, election. What, I mean, what's up with that? What, what's up with what? She, she, she would, she would make a great Secretary of State. She could go, I mean, I, 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 you should see she does a, she can go to Germany. What's her IQ? Uh, well, she, is it true, is it true, Johnny, that you neglected her and told her that she doesn't have, that she has the same brains as your nut that you live in Denae? Or Dwayne, what do you have? Uh, oh, well, let me tell you something. I have, I, I, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. You see, you see my beautiful daughter on the Tonight Show all the time, Megan? And, uh, is that right? She, I, I don't, uh, what I can do, what I can do is, uh, and, and you see her wonderful family, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah's wonderful family, I mean, and look at Obama. He only has two kids. And I don't know. Hey, hey, let's get back to the meat and potatoes of the situation. Now, you're just talking a bunch of malarkey. What, what do you think you can do? Harsh, I'm talking. What do you think you can do concerning filibustering this woman here? You can't filibuster her. You can't even, hell, you can't even, the person that does your makeup can't even, even do that right. Well, well, you know, I... For 80 years old, I think I look fine. You know, you know, I'm the oldest man ever under president. You know, let me tell you something. If the guy, the woman you like uh, is mi mi uh, Mr. Bill, Hill, uh, Mrs. Bill uh, Clinton. She's going to run in 2016, and she's going to be older than I was four years ago. So you know, so don't, don't, don't of all people, an old man like you. Hey, should, should be let me tell you something. You don't know how old I am. President. You have no clue to know how old I am. So this, boy, this interview is about you. Let's all get personal with Henry. Henry Henry is very virile for the women. You don't need to know about that. Now, you continue your dialogue, but don't, don't get personal with Henry. Oh, well, let me, oh, I, uh, yes, I mean, you know, that white suit of yours, I mean, I mean, I mean, you, you used to be the ice cream man or something? You know, hey, you I'll know. give you some ice cream. Matter of fact, I'll spray it on your face. Are you the man from Glide or something? <laughs> that white suit on you? Matter of fact, what's that? Is that cream up your butt cheeks or what? What's up going on? That? That's oh, a, no, no, Philadelphia's uh, cream cheese? No, that's uh, that's uh, Grecian formula. Oh, okay. I got it you. It doesn't work that well. <laughs> I got you. I just got to set the record straight there. Now, is it true, Mr. McCain, that you have uh, got a problem here with uh, Miss Sarah? Not I'm all fine with Sarah. Susan Rice is oh, the, Susan. Right? She's the secretary of the. She's the ambassador to the UN, uh, and and uh, used to be John Bolton. John Bolton, if if uh, if my good friend uh, Mick was uh, elected president, John Bolton would be the secretary of state, and we wouldn't have this. Good president. friend Mick. Susan Rice. Let me tell you about Susan Rice. She is so despicable. She's such a big liar that uh, that I don't even eat rice anymore. When I. <laughs> When I go when I go to a Chinese restaurant, all I have is a uh, is a uh, uh, chicken, uh, uh, sweet and sour chicken and cottage cheese. Is that right? <laughs> but doesn't Condoleezza rice melt in your mouth? Oh, Condoleezza rice! Of course, that rice I like. I like the brown rice. Not the crazy about Susan rice. Hey, now listen here. No, what? I like Condoleezza rice. I like Condoleezza rice. Well, rice roti is the biggest San Francisco treat. We know that. Oh yeah. Yeah, the rice roti is the San Francisco treat. But yeah. anyway. Well, she's, now, she's, she's, yeah, well, that, that, that's, that's true, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Okay. We can agree on that. All right, so uh, I want, let's get to the climax of the situation here. So what are you planning on doing? I mean, how are you going to stop this from happening? Well, I was thinking of, like, taking my shirt off and just swinging it around and back in the chambers and that'll distract, and then Lindsey Graham 
Well, we'll probably do that uh, Dolan style dance and everything, and that should work out. And then, and then, in all the co commotion, then we'll just throw some stink bombs here and there. And then, and then, and then, we're just going to do this tag team match of, uh, of the, you know, because we do have the, uh, we do have the uh, majority in the Congress, but the Senate, you know, uh, we have to do what we can. We can, we can just talk forever. And let me tell you something: if there's anything we Republicans can do, is talk. We're full of Let me tell you something about you Republicans. Oh, wait a second. All you Republicans, all you don't know how to do is pass gas. All the gas is coming out of our ass on an elected there, basically. That's where the gas is coming from, not up here. Well, up here, too. Because everything you guys say is equivalency of me taking a taking a dump. Well, you know what? Let me ask you a question, John McCain. Have you ever, have you ever examined your stools? Oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. I, it's, I, 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 uh, I do great. I do great. From my age, so so uh, I thought. Well, as long as your eyes told you about the color scheme of your stools, if it's green, go back to England or whatever, and if it's brown, you're on time. Yes. It's time for a revolution. Yes, yes. In fact, it's about time we should get the Tea Party, and uh, we should. I bet to the Tea Party to beat the hell out of the uh, Occupy Walnut uh, hippies. In Central Park. Now, why do you support those tea baggers? The tea you want to get bagged? The tea baggers want to stop uh, uh, taxes. They want to throw tea in the uh, Boston Harbor. They want to. Uh, I bet your anal cavity is pretty damn loose down there, McCain. They're the greatest. Your anal cavity is pretty damn loose, I bet. Why? Well, you know, I, I find it very strange that you that you are so insulting to old people. You are a disgrace to old people. I'm you. Uh, listen to me. Simply the facts. Yeah, that's how we do it. Now, let me tell you something. Now, let me, let me get off topic here. On Halloween, on a Halloween night, do you give the kids treats? Yes, I give them. Uh, speaking of Chinese food, I, uh, me and um, whatever my wife's name, not Calista, the other one. I, I forget what her name is. But anyway, <laughs> uh, Mrs. McKay. Yes. Her and I, we collect all these Sweet and sour packets and all. Right. Soy sauce packets. Are you giving them to the kids? Are you giving them to the kids? How do you know that you know? The kids got to know that the harsh reality is like that not the whole world is not going to give them. Listen here. When they ask At least give their cold or their cough and you give them some cuts. Well, yeah. Give them some cough drops. Well, we can do that too. We you do? do? That too. Okay. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a lucky charm. It's a blow pops. See, let me. a blow pop? Yes, we could, do, but we would like we would like uh, Jolly Ranchers and uh, Dum Dums. In fact, uh, fact, did you model you the Dum Dum uh, uh, lollipop? Is that right? <laughs> model yet? Top of your head. Let me tell you something here. Now, I have a dandruff problem because I've never seen a bald headed man with dandruff before. Let's see here. You don't know about Henry. Henry is very funky. Very is it's, it's very vital to and virile. All the young ladies in their 20s love to get down with Henry. I have a list of people that I know, and hell, I'm even big in the Pentagon. They know about Henry. Henry is funky, and he's got it going on. And just one of these days, before I pass and kick the bucket, I would be the next president of the United States. Well, you know, we could use men like you in the, in That's the right. department or the Pentagon or even in the Senate. But I believe in sexual freedom. If you want to go ahead and do it to Mrs. Jones, whether she's married, you go right ahead and do it to her. If you want to go ahead and smoke that cabanas, you go right ahead and smoke it. Yeah, that's how, do you, uh, how do you believe in, in these states now where the marijuana being legal? Are you, are you for that, McKay? And do you smoke it? Well, or do you yeah, smoke penis? Uh -huh. Well, I mean, you, you couldn't get through the... You couldn't get through the 1960s without smoking it. In fact, in fact, yes. You couldn't get through the 1960s. Well, when you smoke, does your eyes water up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You got all the secretion comes out. Oh yes, yes, but that's. You smoke penis? Uh, no, that's no. I don't do that. You don't smoke it? No, don't. Uh, I'm a, a listen. I. You play with it? What I did, well, I don't know what you did during the 1960s, but I was, while you were smoking pot and everything. Let me tell you something. I was something. actually in a POW camp, uh, uh, you know, dying for my country. Luckily, uh, you people, I survived. So now, so now people like you up there got an earful from you, and I'm ready to talk. I have a lot to say. So you were probed then, boy. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm what? You were probed. 
I was for all when you're a prisoner that we made to you. We meant to rescue the Chinese girl for China. Yes, that's what I that's what I heard when I told uh, uh, Yum Sum Ying. Yum Sum Ying, you know her? No, I know who from Gum. You fool her? I know Hum Long. She loves you long time. Confucius say. She loves you long time. Yeah, Confucius say. No, none who go to bed without without a wiping butt. Wake up with stinky hands. <laughs> yes, yes. So you you've been you've been reading the Bible pretty well, haven't you? No, that's Confucius. And oh, I thought that, I thought Confucius. I, I thought Confucius was a, a scripture in the Bible. No, no. No. Uh, Why? Well, uh, just what I thought. You should go to Glenn Beck's uh, 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 blackboard. He'll he'll teach he'll teach you about that. Glenn Beck. About history. Is that right? Okay. Not the real history, but he'll teach you about it. So, hey, Mr. McCain, well, in final closing, what do you believe is going to happen then? Well, How do you feel the next four years are going to flow? I think that the uh, next four years, we're going to, we're going to, I don't know who they're going to pick if they don't pick Susan Rice, but uh, I, think Trump 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 get, an I think eventually they'll get Sarah Palin. So, uh, so uh, and I'm Certainly, I mean, she owes me one, and I think she'd make a wonderful. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Whatever you might think, I think you need to just uh, put a. Yeah, I gotta use a clothespin because I can smell some funky fungus in here. You're is a that, funky guy. Is that? Is it? Well, I'm fun. I'm feng shui. I'm feng shui. But anyway, <laughs> but I, 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 I smell something down there. It's like uh, cottage cheese or something to that effect. All right. Well, anyway, Mr. McKay, I appreciate it. We're gonna go ahead and go into a little chat here. Let's go back into that intro, and we'll be right back on the Gorgeous George Show. Thank you, Mr. McCain, for teaching me how not to think. I appreciate that. Well, I'm always glad to apply. Yes, you're an imbecile. The fellow, the fellow, uh, All right, let's go back to that lovely uh, intro. We'll Yeah, yeah. All right, how you doing? Hey, it's great to be here on the Gorgeous George Show. My name is Kay Lazar, 
And uh, we we have uh, Vinny Mac here. How you doing, Vinny Mac? Yes. Welcome yes. to the McNeil and Laren Hour. <laughs> and, and this is McNeil, and I guess I'm Laren. I don't even know who does what. McNeil is retired. McNeil. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was that was Henry. Anyway, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. People want to know the. Uh, uh, who was that masked man? Yeah, who was that masked man? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When you're acting with those masks that George puts, p- makes me wear all the time, uh-huh. it's it's like wearing the, the, the skin mask from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> just gets unbearable in there and you'll just say you'll just say you'll, you, you're you forced to be funny at any moment there but anyway it's it's been uh, how did you enjoy uh, uh, the Thanksgiving holiday did you have oh, a good time? I had a great time my big sister fixed a big Thanksgiving feast I enjoyed all the football and TV and then I got stuck in traffic oh <laughs> traffic in, in town no in Baltimore and in Washington I got stuck in both cities it's a big travel weekend did you did you Buy anything on Black Friday? Oh heck no! The only thing I bought on Black Friday was sleep. <laughs> that was it. I went on Black Friday. On Black Friday, I went to the Dollar Tree, uh-huh. and then they told me every day here's Black Friday. I, mean, I, I said, "Do you have any bargains here?" So no, the, the dollar. Dollar. Yeah. You know, I once, I once, uh, I once I got arrested for shoplifting at the Dollar Tree, and uh, <laughs> seven dollars filled my pocket full of stuff. Seven dollars. I got arrested for. Oh, shame on you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and, and um, what was I was gonna say, uh, yeah. So, so, oh, I bought a tablet. I bought a tablet. I, I went to a, a store that's not that. It's like not much better than Dollar Tree. Okay. And I, and I bought an eighty dollar tablet. Oh. And uh, I don't know how that all works. <laughs> you you need the internet. Yes. But I found out something about these tablets. Now, if you have a laptop. Or, or desktop computer, you know what those are. So, so I get the tablet, and and it's basically like a girlfriend. Your mm-hmm. laptop, you're married to. Or you, <laughs> you have to lug it around. You have to be. Uh, but but your tablet. Well, oh, you know, yeah. well, it's a rubber band. Let me tell you. And so, so the tablet, I don't, you know, the tablet's dependent on the internet. So, and and I'm taking forever to do. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, the remnants of that last skin is still around. Yeah, Henry's still around. <laughs> Henry's still around. <laughs> Henry's still around. I, I was going to try to catch up with Henry earlier, but I know he left. Yeah. And I was going to ask him about uh, my family was arguing up in Maryland about Maryland leaving the ACC for the Big Ten. Yes, and that the derps. Yes, wow. I fell out of my seat and. I, I hear Henry, and I gotta get a hold of him. Stop uh, <laughs> yeah, he's been eating so much of that turkey, and, <laughs> and I wanted to ask Henry what did he think about it, yeah. and should we bring Maryland back to the ACC? He looks kind of like a turtle. You know, he has that turtle head. He has that yeah, he has like that turtle type head. He, he's related to the turtle, so we, we can ask him some type of questions, but that'll be probably for another time. Yes. So uh, yeah, well. Yes, just has that gravitational pull. <laughs> All right. Um, I, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so that so uh, uh, so that's I guess the big sports news. Yes. Also, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, what else happened over the weekend? You know, never die on the on the Thanksgiving weekend because uh, you know I haven't heard a whole lot about uh, Larry Hagman died. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, uh. and but but when you die on on the holiday weekend, people. They don't know about it until a week later. Until a week later. And, uh, and, uh, but I, uh, I, he got a good, he, I mean, I don't make, want to make light, but he actually got a good, good he got a second life out of that second litter. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> that was one of my yeah. favorite actors of all time. Yeah. For my dream. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved I Dream of G, and I loved, I didn't like Dallas, but he made Dallas. He's good. Yes. Anyway, hey. we, have a, we have a special guest now. Yes, is Henry back? Better than Henry. All right. Uh, he 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 was teaching a uh, he was teaching a, a anger management <laughs> class to uh, Halle Berry's boyfriend. But he's oh. gone. So here he is. The star. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. He's not here yet. He's not here he, yet. He's still teaching. Evidently, that guy. Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd be a psychiatrist after this. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you wait a minute? I think Halle Berry needed. And who got beat up? Um, I don't know. I think Halle Berry that guy. Let, let me tell you who really got beat up. It's the people who listen to that story. <laughs> <laughs> That's who got beat up. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, let me tell you something. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been at the uh, at the other, you know, trying to. Uh, every time, you know, every time I, I walk out. Uh, 
you know, I, 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 I right. let me tell you something. When you when you do this show, uh -huh. it's like uh, it's like when you walk out, it's like walking the gauntlet. All the people throw rocks at you. It's all like being in the stockades <laughs> in Jamestown. <laughs> It's like, how long is your sentence? It's, it's, our sentence is for one hour. We're doing this show. <laughs> oh, no, no. I hear some dance music, but... All right, here it is. The man you've been waiting for. Mr. Gorgeous John Stella. And the people split. <laughs> There you go. All right. That's where, that's where we roll. How good is it, baby? How was your turkey? Oh, was good. your turkey good? Stuffed. Stuffed to the gills. All right. <laughs> Where's that blue ball back there? Is that blue ball back there? Blue balls? Blue balls. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the blue balls back there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's gorgeous, George. And here's my grandpa, Amin. Amin Valentine. Give a shot of the mean there. Get a little closer to me. He's a good old man. You know, he's a man that uh, used to be with us here a long time ago. And we're going to challenge his spirit tonight. And he's going to come out and we're going to challenge his spirit. So we're going to see his spirit coming in this ball here. Uh, we were supposed to have a psychic on tonight. And that, yeah, just yeah, get a little close up of mean right there. Okay. We were supposed to get a psychic on tonight. It didn't happen. We were supposed to get uh, our female co host, the porn star from Williamsburg. That didn't happen. And we're supposed to get another girl that was supposed to come on tonight, and that didn't happen either. This is my grandpa, Amin, Amin Valentine. We went all the way to the 1950s to get this girl. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to challenge anyone in the, in the 21st century. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to challenge his spirit right now. The 19th century. <laughs> hey, grandpa, are you there? Can, you, can I hear you? I'll be trying to challenge your spirit. <laughs> all right, get close up of our grandpa. He's trying to talk. <laughs> Stop waking me up! I'm trying to sleep. All right, listen, listen now. Now, Grandpa, you know, you know, back, you know, Dad would get, used to give you uh, Playboy magazines to get you excited. Now, how was that? I mean, you were really excited by that, or, or what? Tell me about it. I can't really discuss all all, all the uh, details and tell there uh, about Playboy. Yes. Uh, you know about my genitals. Your genitals. You you have to uh, what you have to excuse me on, on that kind of level there. Uh, I was too busy working and uh, taking care of your mama. Yeah. What well, out? Listen, to Grandpa, don't don't don't, don't embarrass me. You, you don't have my own TV show now. You have it, don't you? Well, well, congratulations. What's TV? A TV show. I mean, we've been on for eighteen solid years. You know, radio been, with pictures. Yeah, it's it's like a magazine with fur. It's more like Telegraph with yeah, pictures. Yeah. So I'm challenging you. I'm. Uh, I never could have one of those uh, TV box thingies. Yeah, the box thing. Okay. We we I think in his day they had like a, a shoe box with a camera in the back. All right, <laughs> That's I got the closest you. thing they had. For so uh, so so how is it up there in the sky? Is it pretty good? The man in the sky? How is it? Uh, it's pretty chilly up here. Uh, you always see the sun. You never lose sight of it. It's okay. always in your face. All right, I got you. I got you. Nighttime, well, huh? at, at least, at least you're not below, which I'm glad you're not well, below. Well, you know, it, hell, is, hell is a crazy thing. I was there one time, and a goddamn volcano spit me out. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> so, uh, so tell me about heaven itself. I mean, explain the pearly gates to me. I mean, what, how how is the pearly gates? I mean, pearly gates. I haven't seen no pearly gates. The only thing I've ever seen is the white gates of the moon. <laughs> I mean, heaven is the moon? I, <laughs> I think it's, 
Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> There's all these critters up there, and you can bounce around every time you you land on the ground. You bounce right back up. You got no gravitation, right. so it's just it's just hard right. for you to right. you know, stay close to the. Right. Grandpa, we're we're losing you. I'm trying to challenge the spirit here. Uh, put it back on us for a second. Put it back on us here, We're trying to challenge the spirit here. All right, listen, um, yeah, and Kevin, Kevin's rubbing the, the, the rubbing your head. <laughs> rubbing the frame. Yeah. So so uh, so. Um, Grandpa I mean, tell me, um, is there uh, is there Putang up there in the heavens? Putang? Yes, Putang. What is Putang? You know what Putang is? Punanery. Punanery? Greenery. You're talking about the double lips on the bottom? I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> it's always a different color down there for some reason. Well, I just want to know, me. I want to know if it's grassy and if it's bushy and if it's Always good to, to come to. Or, well, or, you or know, the old ladies I get these days, uh, they still got hair down there to come in mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, Grandpa, listen. They kick it old school. I'm proud of my doing this, you know. I want to win the lottery. Is that never going to happen? I want to keep your pants on for that one. <laughs> I well, think something. If he wins the, the $400 million tomorrow, yeah. and he, uh, you, you, he will keep his pants off the rest of his life. <laughs> well, what do I care? It's not like you can share it with me. Well, let me know something, though. So, so, I mean, you're in a good place then, right? I mean, seriously. You're in a good place? Yeah. You know, if you consider whisping around the winds of the moon and whisping around the mountains of the planet, I, I guess I'm, a good, I'm in a really good spot. I can see all the bitches. <laughs> so there are bitches up there then, right? There are nice looking bitches up there. No, I'm talking about looking at the ones around the uh, you, you know, the uh, Richmond VA area. Yeah. <laughs> Look down on them. That's I what I mean. Let me tell you. I got you. I'm, I'm rubbing it here. No, I mean, let me tell you. How's Grandma doing? Okay. Grandma? I haven't seen her in a hundred years. Okay. I that is you. heaven. <laughs> okay. Any, uh, so any exam, did you, do you have any exams up there? Did you do any oral exams or any, uh, prostate exams up there? I'm going to ask you a serious freaking question. What's that? How in the world can a spirit get a prostate <laughs> exam? We don't even have a freaking body. I don't know, man. I just want to know. It's the same way on earth, you know? I mean, I just want to ask. I'll tell you what. When I get into a body, and I, I'll let you know when I get a prostate exam. I've never even heard of one. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, Grandpa, any, any closing words for the, for the audience and for me and for everybody else? You already had your final words. You yeah. need more words. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, just relax and take life easy, because it don't last forever. Uh, so, so, but the glass is always green on the other side, is that correct? Well, that depends on what color green you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. All right, he's, okay, we gotta get right back. He's a mean man. He's a mean. A uh, nice man. Okay, that, that was good. That was that was good. That was yeah. a winner. I mean, coming out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's gorgeous, George in effect, not Rex in effect, because all I want to do is run my zoom zoom and that boom boom and shake that bunk or shake that ass. All right. So anyway, we are looking at yeah. um, we're looking at the future, man. <laughs> Now there's a reason. The future is blue balls. I know. But, <laughs> you know it's milk and magnesia, actually. The color of magnesia. We're looking at this, and we're trying to figure out because you know the mind calendar. You know, the mind calendar in December, the world. Everybody's going to believe the world's coming to an end. So we're gazing to see if, in fact, sometime in the next few weeks, if the world is coming to an end. So I mean, we're looking. I mean, what, Kevin, what do you see? Well, I think uh, from what I uh, from what uh, uh, a lot of sus- Secessionists are talking about with Obama being reelected. Yeah, I, I think the world is coming to an end. You do? I don't think so, but they seem to okay. think so. <laughs> well, and we're looking at the center core right there. But hold on a sec. Hold, hold on a sec. Good God, I see, I see somebody just going to town on that girl. What the hell is going on here? Okay. He's like just banging her to that kingdom come. Okay, I'm going to shake it up here. What is that, a, 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 a porn site? You know? All right, let's get a porn site. You get, you, you get internet okay. porn. Let's see. <laughs> Once you got it, Kevin. Um, 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 all right. Ah, I 
I see Confucius. He's on a broomstick. Look at that. Confucius flying on a broomstick. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, except no substitute. It's Gorgeous George. Gorgeous George is in the house. Tuesday night. You never know when Gorgeous George will come on. Have we ever been on a Tuesday night? We've never been on a Tuesday night. This is an unlisted show. If you're watching this show, yeah. it's not listed in the. If you if you were changing the channel, you got the show. Consider yourself lucky. That's right. Because you just stumbled. This is like the. You never, never, <laughs> never know when the Gorgeous George show will be blessing your camera, blessing your TV. Tuesday night. It's the first for all. Tuesday night. You know, it's what it is, and we're here. Yep. All right, we have uh, Mr. Bo in the house tonight. He's, he was on last year. He's in the house right now. Yeah, we'll try to get you a mic. No, no come on over here. Well, yeah, we'll get you, we'll get you on here. We'll get you on. And now, here he is. Bo. All right. Here you go. Put the mic on. Hi, Bo. Take that mask, if you would, and cabin on the ground, and <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> That's right. There you go. There you go. So what's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening with your show? What be going on? How, how's the world treating you? The world is treating me like, um, well, the world doesn't even know me. Doesn't even know you. Doesn't even know me. Oh, I, I really can't say t anything too bad. Can't say anything too bad? Okay. Well, I don't know. I think uh, the world is doing good. I think the, these people, these, uh, these whack jobs are thinking the world's coming to an end. What you guys say about that? I think Obama's doing a great job. Okay. He's, he's, he's doing a top job, right? Yeah. He's doing a great job. I mean, he's helping out the unemployed by giving them extra money for being unemployed. And, and you know, yeah. because of the poor economy and everything, they can't help it. We've got so many extra people in the states these days. You That's know. right. That's right. So he's doing a great job. I think he's, I think he's doing a top job. And, uh, yes, I think, it's, I, think it's, I think he's the best. He was the better than the, uh, than the alternative. I think Lee's doing a great job in North Korea, too. Who? Lee. Lee? Okay. <laughs> that, that guy, Lee. Lee, that guy, Lee. Okay. What about, uh, what about the corpse of Mussolini and Hitler? Are they doing good? Or do, are they still doing good? Who are they? The corpse of Mussolini and the corpse of Hitler. Are they still doing good? Are I have just, not seen those corpses. You haven't seen them? Okay. I, just, I, I didn't know if they were still around or whatnot. <laughs> they have the corpse of Saddam and uh, Bin Laden. How, how are they doing? Uh, well, I don't know. I heard they were blown in bits and pieces. Saddam and Bin Laden just blown up, blown up in smithereens. Yeah, they're, they're part of the mountain... Uh, decay. I got you. I got you. Well, anyway, so uh, let's let's talk about it now. What's going on with you as far as your music is concerned? What what uh, what's new in the well, music? Well, I have uh, introduced another music video to my channel um, called "Everybody Needs a Girl to Love." Okay. It's actually kind of hot. Some people might say it's a little too hot. Okay. Um, hot in what way? Well, there's some lap dances going on and. You know, there's some uh, a dime piece and, and another dime piece and another dime piece in it. I mean, you just can't miss all the dime pieces. In it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's hear a little bit of it. Might as well, can you? you know, I mean, Everybody needs a girl to love. You want me to? Let's 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 hear it. Let's go here. You you want a live version of it? Let's do a live version of it. Yes. All right. Here's a little bit. One, two, three, sexy girls in a row. Stripping for the dollar, taking off the clothes. Shaking that booty, make my big heart grow. Show me what you got, baby, I want to know. If you get the moves, honey, yeah, you make me moan. Suck a little harder, honey, yeah, you make me groan. Love me all night till six in the morning. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. I what you have a need for a girl Opposite attraction want it in my world I have what you have a need for a girl Sexual attraction applied to my world I have what you have a need for a girl I have what you have a need for a girl Everybody need to go to love all night long Everybody need to go to love all night long Everybody need to go to love all night long Everybody need to go to love all night long Ha <laughs> ha one, two, three, hot mommies in a row. No fat hoochie mama's messing up my flow. Get it done right, baby, putting on a show. Give me that loving like you just don't know. If you get the moves, yeah, you gotta get blown. Make me love me, baby, get it all night long. Everybody needs to go to love all night long. Everybody needs to go to love all night long. Everybody needs to go to love all night long. I what you have a need for a girl. Opposite attraction, want it in my world. I have what you have a need for a girl. Sexual 
your tracks here and apply to my world. I have what you have a need for a girl. I have what you have a need for a girl. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. Everybody need to go to love all night long. All right. All right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's, good. That's, that's good. That's pretty damn good. So, the, so the, when are we going to you, get you on vinyl? Or when are we going to get you on the iPod? Or? That is uh, coming up shortly. Um, working on getting a CD put out with uh, a short album. It's going to have uh, four other songs on it. Yeah. And uh, we're going to put them all together and sell them and disperse them that way. Okay. And I hope, hope so I... So be on vinyl, be on iPod, be on, uh, you know... But be, be out there for everybody to get it. But it well, should, MTV, of it, course, should, video. it should be within the uh, next uh, four or five months, hopefully. Okay. Let's yeah, Let's get that old one you did real fast. Let's say that again about uh, about a hoe. Everybody needs a hoe. What's that? Oh, he, he wants to hear that one. Let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's let's do it. That's got the same beat to it. Okay. It's, it's, uh, well, it's, not, it's a little different, isn't it? A little, a little different. Okay. Let's, go, let's do it. Okay. We got three. Need some filler because it's grilled and sharp tonight. <laughs> Let's go ahead. One, two, three, line them up in a row. Pull out a fat tree, roll a blunt for show. Fat or near row, how y'all want to cut? Looking up a line off a sweet ass butt. Oh shit, some fella to crack a what, what? I'll get that, my little party slut. Blowing up smoke in my little bitty hut. Smoking sweet ass, growing a sweet ass blunt. Damn, let me lick some of this off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I lost lost my little because uh, you know, there's probably a lot of female listeners. I, a lot of them can't okay. stand that. Wow, well, you know that is what it I is. just said it anyway. Kevin, we done the camera. <laughs> Messing the camera up. We done. All right, that that was the. Uh, we gotta move that camera just a little bit over here. Okay, and I, you know, yeah. Okay, even a little, little bit more. I shouldn't have to tell you that, Kevin. Okay, now yeah, move it back this way. Okay, move it back this way. Okay, rock, rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. Okay. Rock the boat, baby, rock the boat, rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby, rock the boat. Rock on, rock on with your bad self, rock the boat. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Honey, this is Elvis. I do like that song. Elvis is in the house. Honey, you lied when you told Elvis you go down on him. <laughs> and he had no cause to doubt you. Now, I don't want to hear any more lies. They go on sleeping without you. Now, your tits are bare with breast milk all around. And honey, you don't go down on me. I got to pull your pennies down. That's good. It gives himself yeah, a Yeah, that's right. That's right. All this music is making me crazy. Yeah. I'm going crazy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, Kevin's, okay. Kevin's, Kevin's milking him, is milking a little cow right now. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that is how it rolls. Um, it's good to hear what's going on. We are back on. We've been on. This is week four. We're on right now, and we're on Tuesday nights, and we're going to be on. Maybe we might Tuesday be back. Nights? We might be back on Wednesday. We might be back on Tuesday. You just never know when we're going to be on. Right now, it's Tuesday night for this week. We have a band coming on. Hopefully, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, I'm not going to see who the band is. But the Rolling it, Stones. You said it, but uh, no, that's not the band. Ugh. But uh, we have a band coming up on the last week. We are. We have two more shows coming up, so we plan to do it with ease and make it happen. Um, I like to say, though, that you know, with all, this, all the shows that we've done, we plan to do a movie. Now, this movie that's coming up is going to be The Christmas Carol, the gorgeous George Christmas Carol and we're going to have to take a weekend to shoot it. And it's going to be a phenomenal movie. It's going to be, I'm going to have three ghosts that visit me. And I'm going to be like... Are you going to have the ghost of Christmas past? Yes, yeah, the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present. I don't present, know where that came from. And the ghost of Christmas future. And these three <laughs> ghosts are, you know, I'm going to be like not wanting to do the show anymore. And I'm going to be like wanting to quit the show. And these three ghosts are going to tell me what it would be like without the gorgeous George show. And it would be horrible for you folks out there without the Gorgeous George Show because we know that if it was ratings, we know. If it was all ratings, you know, let's face it. I mean, I don't want to toot my own, own horn, but toot toot. It sounds to me like God might show up on your show. Well, you know, and I'm looking forward to that. You and mean I'm, Graham? I'm looking forward. You know, Billy Graham and his crackers, you know. 
<laughs> bring them on, you know. Um, Oral Roberts and his well, peculiar. I can't have oral because <laughs> oral gets too oral for for the for the majority. So we don't want to have that going on. But uh, but we're going to have some of the dignitaries on. We might have Apostle Paul on, uh, Saint Peter, and uh, all the disciples. We've you know. had plenty of Peters on this show. When are we going to get? <laughs> well, I yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, Two <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, that's just the way it is. But. When you when you have lemons, what do you do? You know, if you have some live tulips on the show, then that just might inspire some um, female tulips to come on the show. <laughs> live what? Tulips. The live tulips. My favorite flower. Live tulips. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, it's a grassy knoll. I never mean, I, any greenery in here. Well, we'll get some good greenery soon enough. We, I mean, it's not like we've ever had greenery. Pink. <laughs> we've had greenery. We've had pink. You know, and I'm not talking about the pig. But we've had pink. Well, we, we don't want anything that's necessarily yellow, but pink is definitely good. Yeah, well, yellow is, you know, ganja. Pink ganja, tulips. Ganja, you know. Pink. Greenery. Yeah, well, that's... Who called the last greenery? We're not asking for <laughs> So, but we're asking for this, and we're asking He's for that. Christmas stuff. early. Yeah, so anyway, but we got we got lots coming on here. And, uh, Kim, what the hell are you doing? Circus act. I'm, I'm, I'm balancing. You're balancing? I'm balancing actor. Okay. He's going to hit me in the back of the head with that. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to do that, I guess. Yes. All right, so that is the way it is. And Vinny Val is, this is, is this in house. This is in Colorado now. Yeah, it is. And in Washington, too. <laughs> and a few other states. Will it ever be legal here? That's the question. Soon enough, probably. Soon enough. Vince is in the house also, too. What's going on, Mr. Vince? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Just hanging. I, I didn't know that I was on American Idol, and I thought I'll play Simon and say y'all both sucked okay. because Simon always says that everybody sucks. Right. But then but, again, Simon, I, but, but you and Simon have something in common, Vince. What's that? You both swallow. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you said that we both made millions. You both swallow. <laughs> Simon yeah. says yeah. something. Untr I know this. Simon says. Simon says. Simon says. Simon says. Simon says. Simon Simon says. says. Simon Simon says. says. <laughs> Something is uh, a singer is fair, then they're probably great. Yeah. Anyway, well, this was better than a no, no, you, you did a Bing Crosby one time before. You, yes, you did he did. Let's say a Bing Crosby because it's, it's a Christmas. Festive, yes. You know. Oh, that the one is. Um, yeah. I, I can only do part of it because I, I don't have a very good memory. Okay. I smoked way too much pot in my life. Okay. Oh, 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 who, who doesn't? Oh, oh, go ahead. That's. Uh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas <laughs> Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glistened and children listened to the snowflakes as they danced across the snow and I'm dreaming I'm gonna walk across this floor just because I can't remember any more of these words <laughs> So does everybody in Hollywood. And live to the ending and now say goodbye. <laughs> and then you will know why I go home and cry. <laughs> Yay! Very good. Right. Uh, this is a sublime moment. There. Very good. Uh, no, yeah, so no. Okay. No, I, I, and you know what I gotta do? <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do right now, right? No. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Just not. Just not. Just <laughs> open an open rack. <laughs> Jack Frost nipping at that puss. Yule time cocks with their eyes on a glow. We'll find it hard to sleep tonight. Cause they know that GG is on his way. That sounds so feminine. Fill up all the patios <laughs> and stockings with his sleigh. Whee! And every mother's mother and sister's sister <laughs> is going to spy to see if Gigi can really get it up. So 
I'm offering this simple phrase from kitties from 1 to 2020. <laughs> Although it's been said many times, many ways, merry together, Christmas. Merry Christmas. I messed up, sorry. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Say it again. Merry Christmas. To you. Dun 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 Now King Cool can't do it better than me. Where we got all the hobbledy Oh my God, let's yank him. Oh my God, he's, oh my God, he's being profane. Let's yank him. Yank him. Yankee. No. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Bob? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Merry Christmas. Oh my god, what's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, we got uh, we got two minutes left in this uh, circuit, bring circuits. We are the gorgeous George show. When we're given lemons, you know what we do? We make lemonade. We make hot dogs. When we're given prunes, we make pernicious <laughs> fluids. <laughs> Baby, there's one Mona Lisa, one leading tower of pizza. And there's only one gorgeous George. Believe it. Bring a ding ding. Or not. Or not. Bring a ding ding. Next Tuesday night, 10 Put it in the ring. Maybe. Uh, ring -ding. <laughs> might, be, might be Saturday. It might be Sunday. You just never, never, never know. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I never know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to heal you. I'm going to heal you. Yeah. I'm going to heal you. Yeah. I'm going to heal you. Yeah. And stay tuned because there'll be more healing in. Just the next two weeks, me. baby. I know. He's gone. That's right. He's gone. He's ready He'll for the next you. show. <laughs> <laughs>